Now, as you may know, so, some of you, that in a previous life I worked with people who had a great love and care for the welfare of animals and, and some forms of plant matter as well. Which leads me to tell you about one of those experiences at this time in my previous life. Now, some of these people were fond of some forms of plant uh, life. They even grew these strange looking tomato plants in their courtyards and on balconies. I must say, I never saw any tomatoes on them, but they didn't, they didn't uh, seem to flower, but the flowers always disappeared. Uh, just, I came to the conclusion they didn't want any fruit. Uh, but I am told they used the flowers as dried herbs, I assume in their cooking, to give it a little bit of a zap. Very good for your relaxation or so, they tell me. But then it takes me to my story. Now, I, were gonna, I got invited to one of these friends who happened to have like these kind of illicit tomato plants growing on his balcony. I was sitting quietly in the flat in an armchair, watching something not very interesting on the television, when the cat was sleeping quietly in the middle of the lounge. My friend came in with a plate full of homemade biscuits, a large mug of tea, which I was very grateful for, as I was quite hungry, and then retired to the kitchen to cook the evening meal for both of us. As I sat there, I ate several of these homemade biscuits, drank my tea, sank back into my armchair with an air of total satisfaction and was about to compliment my friend on his homemade business and tea when something caused me to sit bolt upright in my armchair with eyes and mouth wide open with shock and a striking realisation that something is not all that it could be. As I let out a bird curdling scream, bloody Christ almighty, as a large white flash came screaming out of God knows where, and then tore across the room and descended upon the cat, who was peacefully having a nap in the middle of the carpet. The resulting effect was the cat flew straight up into the air, screaming like a crazed werewolf the whole time, then came down, still screaming, and tore under the couch. Meanwhile, the white flash also got a fright from the reaction of the, of the cat, or my screaming, flew straight up in the air and coming down tore off under the other armchair. My friend, hearing all the screaming and blood curling yelling, came running into the room. The room was now in total silence, apart from the TV uh, and my occasional splutters and garping sound. Uh, I made as I sat there, bolt upright in shock. My friend was thinking I'd had some kind of allergic reaction to his business and now I was calling on ambulance as I finally managed to gasp out the word, Rabbit! White Rabbit! Oh, he said with relief, you've seen my white rabbit, Henry! Sorry, he likes to tease the cat. I, <coughs> I was now slowly gathering my wits as I said, I thought I was hallucinating, I thought you'd put some of your organic herbs in the business. Oh, no, no, he said, I wouldn't do that. Uh, the, way, the, the rabbit likes to tease the cat. Uh, I said, but I said, hey, cats usually eat rabbits. We get a chance. And that rabbit didn't look like it was playing unless it liked leapfrog. No, no. It looked more like it was mating with a cat. I have to say, the cat, the family were not keen at all. In fact, I think I can say, without fear of contradiction, the cat was horrified at the idea. <coughs> this is not normal. Cat, dog, rabbits don't, this is not normal. Does a rabbit not tear up the carbon, chew the furniture, etc., etc.? No, it has a scratching post, sandbox, and plenty of things to, to eat that wear down its teeth. Well, you could have warned me, I damn near had a seizure and a heart attack. What are we having for dinner? The neighbour's pet ducks that the, nut ra the rabbits brought home? These animals are defending on something. It's just not normal. <laughs>